Hello, I'm Paul Sokol, and this is the overview video for the January 2016 free campaign of the month. This month, we have a newsletter sign-up and preference center. Here's the general idea. When someone signs up for your newsletter, after they confirm their email, they get added to your newsletter list. Then, somewhere within each newsletter you send, they have this preference center, which means they can modify their subscription. And that's it. A simple campaign to build your newsletter list and make it easy for the recipients to manage their subscription. Also, this campaign is 100% ready to go out of the box. After installing it, all you have to do is publish. From there, simply get the form on your site or modify your existing one and, if it exists, update your existing newsletter list to enable the preference center functionality. Let's dig in a little more. This campaign starts when someone submits this sign up web form. If you already have an existing form somewhere on your website, you can add someone by applying this tag. From there, they get added into the email confirmation request. If they don't confirm their email within three days, it will automatically send them a reminder. Just so you know, if someone joins your newsletter list that has previously confirmed their email, they will skip these confirmation emails and go right into your newsletter list. In the Add to Newsletter List sequence, the first thing that happens is we set the main newsletter custom field to yes. Historically, Infusionsoft users have used tags to segment their newsletter. However, in order for the Preference Center to work, the newsletter segmentation has to be using a custom field. After setting that field, we reset the Add to Newsletter tag and the welcome email is sent. Notice it's a simple transactional email out of the box. You can customize this however you want, but it isn't required. See this preferences link? This is pointing directly to the email preferences form. This link down here is the official opt-out link. When using the preference center, you still have to include a formal opt-out link in each newsletter for can spam compliance. There is also a light personal follow-up three months later to see how they are liking your newsletters. Let's look at the Preference Center itself. Since people will only be arriving here from an email, this hidden field will be pre-populated with their email address. This is how Infusionsoft knows who is managing their preferences. The Receive Newsletter field will also be populated with their current subscription status. This is why we have to use a field for newsletter segmentation instead of a tag. Once someone clicks Update My Preferences, it will update their contact record with their choices. Then, you need to make sure that every newsletter you send has a link to this web form. If you have a newsletter template that you use, save yourself time by adding in the link to this preference center and you'll never forget. Also, as you may have figured out by now, you can have multiple subscriptions in this preference center. You would just need to create a custom field for each subscription type and then add it to this form. Alternately, you can also create a unique preference center for each subscription. It's totally up to you. As with all campaigns in the marketplace, this Help Center article will show you everything you need to launch the campaign and start using it. Tell me what you think about this campaign below and let's empower your subscribers to control their own email preferences.